Hello, I'm Yishang from HarveyMandarin.com. Welcome to the third lesson in my Reading and Writing Chinese Characters lesson series. In this lesson, we'll learn these characters. I'll give you tips to help you remember each character, show you how to write them, and go over some example words that use these characters. Also, in the description for this video, there's a link to a practice sheet that you can use to practice writing them. Okay, let's get started. Our first character in this lesson is Ri. Please repeat after me. Ri. Ri. A lot of people have difficulty pronouncing this character. It's pronounced differently than the R sound in English. It's pronounced with your tongue pointing up towards the roof of your mouth and your teeth just slightly parted. You can practice this by pronouncing the S sound in the word measure and pulling the tip of your tongue back until it starts to sound like the R sound. I'll cover how to pronounce this in more detail in my Chinese pronunciation using pinyin lesson series. When the video is ready, I'll link it here. The Yu character evolved from a drawing of the sun. In ancient Chinese writing, it was written as a round circle with a black spot in the center. To make it easier to remember, you can imagine this character looking like the sun wearing a pair of sunglasses. Now let's take a look at how to write the character Yu. Yu is written using four strokes. First is a vertical stroke on the left. Next is a stroke that first moves to the right and then down. Then a horizontal stroke. And finally, another horizontal stroke at the bottom of the character. For help with writing this character, please download the practice sheet. Now let's take a look at some example words that use the character Yu. First is Yu Ben. Yu means sun. And ben here means origin. Yu ben, the origin of the sun. In other words, where the sun comes from. Yu ben is the Chinese name for Japan. Japan is east of China, and since the sun rises in the east, it looks like that's where the sun is coming from. Yu ben. Yu ben, Japan. Next is. Yu chu. Yu means sun, and the chu means to come out. Together, yu chu means the sun comes out. In other words, the sunrise. Yu chu. Yu chu, sunrise. And finally, we have sheng yu. Sheng means birth, and yu here means day. So together, sheng yu means birthday. Sheng Yu. Sheng Yu, birthday. Our second character in this lesson is Yue, which means moon or month. Traditionally, China used a lunar calendar, and each new moon marked the start of the month. That's why moon and month are the same character in Chinese. Yue. Yue. This character looks like a drawing of a smiling moon. Yue is written using four strokes. First comes a large downward stroke to the left. Next comes a stroke that first moves to the right and then down with a hook. And finally, there are two horizontal strokes. Here are some example words that use the character Yue. First is Yue Liang. Yue means moon and Liang means bright. Together, Yue Liang makes the Chinese word for the moon. Yue Liang. Yue Liang, the moon. Yue Bing. 
Yue means moon and bing means pancake. Together, yue bing means mooncake. Mooncakes are traditional treats that Chinese people eat during the mid-autumn festival. Yue bing. Yue bing, mooncake. San yue. The character san is the number three, and yue in this word means month. So together, san yue means the third month, in other words, March. San yue. San yue, March. Our next character in this lesson is ming, which means bright. Ming, ming. This character is the combination of the characters for yu, sun, and yue, moon, because the sun and the moon are the two brightest objects in the sky. To write the ming character, first write the yu or sun character on the left side, then write the yue or moon character on the right side. Also, if you remember from our last lesson, Chinese characters are generally written so that they all take up the same amount of space. Here, the character for yu or sun is smaller, and the character for yue or moon is more narrow so that they fit into the space of a single character. Here are some example words. 聪明 Cong means clever and ming means bright. Together, 聪明 is used to describe someone as being smart or clever. 聪明聪明 smart. 明星 Ming means bright and xing means star. Together, 明星 means a bright star. In ancient times, this referred to the planet Venus because it's the brightest object in the night sky after the moon. Nowadays, it's used to refer to a celebrity, like a famous actor, singer, or athlete. 明星 明星 celebrity 明天 In addition to meaning bright, 明 can also mean next when referring to days or years. 天 means day, so 明天 means the next day, in other words, tomorrow. 明天, 明天, tomorrow. And our final character in this lesson is 朋, which means friend or companion. 朋, 朋. This character is made of the two yue or moon characters side by side. These two moons are good friends and they really enjoy each other's companionship. Writing this character is easy. First, write the yue or moon character on the left side, then write it again on the right side. The two yue or moon characters that make up the peng character are written more narrowly so that they fit into the space of a single character. Here are some example words. Peng you. The characters peng and you both mean friend and together they make the Chinese word for friend. Peng you. Peng you. Friend. 男朋友 nan means male and 朋友 means friend together 男朋友 means boyfriend 男朋友 男朋友 boyfriend 女朋友 nu means female and 女朋友 means girlfriend 女朋友 女朋友 girlfriend before ending this lesson, I would like to take some time to thank Bruce from Los Angeles, Shannon from Canada, Soren from Australia, Daniela from the UK, Soren from Texas, Benny from Indonesia, 
John from Vermont, and Annette from Belgium for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much. 谢谢你们 If you would like to make a contribution to my YouTube channel, please follow the link at the end of this video. Okay, that's all for this lesson. I hope you found my tips for remembering the characters from this lesson useful. Did you enjoy it? Or do you have other ideas on how to make it easier to remember these characters? If so, please take some time to leave a comment. If you are interested in private Chinese lessons, please visit my website harbinmandarin.com and send me a message. I'll see you guys next time. 再见。